Okay, we're going to look at using smart objects in Photoshop. So what I'll do is I'll just go to the file menu and I'll go to new. Now this is Photoshop CC 2015. So we have art boards. So mostly you have an art board for your different preset sizes. And I'm just gonna go for web and go the most common, which is 1366 for the width in pixels. I open this up. Art boards are the default will give you quite a light background and how you change that is you right mouse click on them and you go for something like a, a dark gray. Now we can differentiate between the art board itself and the background. Now once that's here, I'm gonna create a shape. So I go down to the shapes and I'll go for the custom shape and up at the top, I'll get a fill. I don't want a stroke really, that's a board around it. I'll just go for a fill. Um, and then I'll move on here and then I'll get a shape so we can get this plane. Now what I'll do is I'll just hold the shift key and I'll draw out my shape. I've got it here. Down in the layers on the right, it just says shape one. So I'll just put type in and say it is a plane. Always name your layers and be organized. I go back and get the move tool or I can press V on the keyboard and I can move it around to another location where I want it. Now that's just an ordinary shape layer. What I'm going to do now is turn it into a smart object. So I right mouse click the layer, not the icon, just the, the actual where it says plane, right mouse click and go down from the pop up and say, convert to smart object. Now once that's done, it gives you this little icon underneath. Now this icon um, is a little bit different. So it just shows you that that's a smart objective and also how it has this little board around is slightly changed. Nothing really changed on the screen, although when you come to edit it, so if I want to edit that, just that object, if I go and double click on its icon, it will pop it out into its own document. If I look up here, it now says plain PSB. And if I go back on this tab, it will just take me back to the original image. Because it's made it into a smart object, you can double click on it in the layers and it will just isolate that layer or that group of layers and you can then just edit it here. So say for example, I wanna change its color. So I click on the shape tool. Um, I then go up and make sure I've got it selected here. I've got it selected, shape tool up here and I'll change it and make it a blue color. Now what you can do is just go file and save and close that down, but you can just close the close button on the tab. It'll prompt you to save and you're back there. So it's changed to blue. Now that might not be a big deal because you can do it on the page, but where the power comes in is this. What I'm gonna do is duplicate that. Number of ways you can duplicate is you can press uh, uh, Alt on your keyboard and drag out and that will duplicate it. Uh, the other way is with the layer selected, pre pressing Control um, J on a PC or Command J on an Apple Mac, and that will duplicate it and put it directly on top. Um, or you can just drag it down to the new layer icon in the bottom of the layers panel, and that will create a, a new layer. Now I've got a number of planes here. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make them different sizes. So hold the Shift key going from one of the corners, then I'm going to press enter or return, or you can click the commit tick. So they're all going to be many, many different sizes. So I've got that there. I bring this over. I might make this a bit bigger. With these being shapes, there shouldn't be a loss in quality. And again, I might with this one turn, oops, I might turn it around. So do that. Um, so I've got a number of representations of it. Now probably your best bet would be to make sure when you go through here is to get rid of the plane where it says copy and name them appropriately. So you might do plane one, plane two, um, whatever you want to do, but probably getting rid of where it says copy to um, is not so good. Okay, so what I will do is any one of those in the layers, I double click on the icon it isolates it and this time I'm going to change its color again 
So I make sure I have it selected. I click with the move tool. Then I go down to the shapes and I click on that. And then this time I'll change the color and I'll make it red. Once I've done that, I can close it down the tab. It will prompt me to save and they've all changed color no matter what size they were or what position they're in. This is a good thing you can do with smart objects. Okay, uh, this is an example of having a smart object that has a number of layers within it and see how you can use that. So if I go to the file menu, I go to new, what I will do is go to something like where it's got um, iPhone 5. I click that, gives me the artboard, I right mouse click, um, I change it to dark grey, the background, I have my artboard here. Now what I'm going to do is duplicate the artboard. So we have I have a tutorial screencast how to use artboards, but say if I wanted to duplicate it, I would hold the Alt key on the keyboard. I click on the title of the artboard and just drag it out. So I've got two of them on here. Now, uh, I'll just rename them. So I click on the artboards at the side. So this bottom one here, I'm just going to rename this home. That's my home screen. And I'll call this um, info screen. So these are sorts of representations of two screens or could be websites or it could be posters, anything you want. Now I want to create a bar up at the top. So I'll come up here with the bar and I'm going to create a shape. Just drag that out, uh, pull it out here like that. Then I click tick. Now what I might do is I might put some other items on there. So I'm going to have, so Oops, I'm going to put a hamburger menu on there. There you go. Okay, I've got a hamburger menu on there. The next thing I will do is maybe put some other sort of object on it. So I'll come along. This is just an example of how this would work. Okay, I've got another shape here. Okay, and I bring that shape in. Like that. So I've set up a, just a representation of a menu bar and you probably do it in detail, make sure you get it all right. Now, say for example, I want that on top of each of my artboards. Now, if I shift click those three items, either on here or I can go down here and shift click them in the layers so they're all selected, I can then right mouse click uh, at the side of one of them and convert to smart object. Now, what it will do is create them all into one. Now it's just taken one of the names, which is the name of the icon, Atom. So I'm going to change Atom to um, Menu uh, Bar. I want to change it to Menu Bar. That's more uh, recognizable. So change it to Menu Bar. Now what I can do now is I can copy that. So if I hold the Alt key down, click the mouse and drag it over to the, my Info screen. There's a duplicate of them and they're up here as well. And what I'm going to do is just get rid of the copy of it, of the top one that I copied. Now, <clears throat> if I just double click on either of those menu bars, it should open up into isolation here. Now, if I come along here, click the rectangle background here, I can then click on the shapes icon that's here, or you can get the properties up here. Sometimes you have to get the uh, selection tool, path selection tools with some of these to get the options up. Now once I've done that, I will just change it to a different color somewhere in here. Let's see if I go for something like a yellowy color. Change it to yellow. Now I just close that on the tab, press save when it prompts me and it's changed both of them. So both of those items on top of those screens, it's changed. 
and you can just go back again and you can come along and do the same thing if you wanted to change it so you can change it as many times as you want so this sort of speeds up the process you're using and sometimes you might have very complicated items especially if you're doing ui and you can actually just group together all those small little elements into one component which is a smart object and then they can be double clicked and taken away in isolation and edited once you've edited it in whatever way you want to do you can move things over and change them around uh, if I move that over like that and then close it down so that's the power of a smart object um, really good for again grouping things together it avoids you having them all in folders loose or having to group or also the worst case scenarios flatten items only to find out later on you want to edit them and you can't because they're flat